I'm uh, here at the invitation of the Joint Landowners Coalition of New York, a wonderful group of people that are trying to make sure that uh, natural gas production happens here in, in uh, New York and it's done in a safe way. The moment, we've all been waiting for it. You may recognize one of the featured experts from Truthland in the room. The truth is that gas itself is a much cleaner burning uh, fuel than uh, coal or oil, which are our two main alternatives. John is a nationally recognized expert on environment, energy, gas drilling, and green economy issues. We've had an energy boom in, in the U.S. It's very important to understand that the use of gas to displace dirtier fuels is cleaning our air and protecting the public health. We're going to talk about gas drilling, we're going to be honest, we're going to level with everybody about what, what the uh, risks are and how to manage those risks and what's been done to manage these risks. Hydraulic fracturing is one part of the gas production process. Hydraulic fracturing is when the fluid is uh, pumped underground to break up, uh, open the shale and release the gas. Hydraulic fracturing fluids have never returned from depth to, to an aquifer and polluted it anywhere in Pennsylvania. The other concern that is, uh, I think, appropriately on the table about impacts on water has to do with what we call gas migration. When you see that picture of a tap exploding in a fireball, it obviously has gas in it. The question is, where did the gas come from? In most cases, it was always there. It was naturally occurring. About 50 to 100 private water wells out of a million have had some impact from gas migrating. For our water resources as a whole, it's a very modest impact. It also needs to be, I think, standard practice that whenever that does happen, that anybody's property who received gas in the water well be compensated fully and without argument. When I look at the sources of pollution to Pennsylvania's waters, our streams and rivers, and ask the question, is gas drilling a big impact on our water? The answer is no, it's not. It's definitely not in the top five, and it's not probably even in the top 10. Water withdrawal is, is an issue, but at least in Pennsylvania, I think this is true in New York, we've got a lot of water. About nine and a half billion B, billion gallons a day is withdrawn for all purposes. Gas drilling is about two million, 1.9 million, M, million. The learning continues. People need to get educated. It's also very important, frankly, uh, to produce the gas as, uh, and keep improving the production processes as you do that. If every state had done what New York State had done and said no, your home heating bill, if you're using natural gas, would probably be at least double roughly four or five hundred dollars a year higher in your electric bill. We would be still getting probably close to 50 percent of our electricity from burning coal. Our air would be much dirtier than it is today. Saying no to gas would have been a disaster for the economy. It would have been a disaster for public health and for the environment. Thank you very much. Uh, it's been a delight to be here and uh, I look forward to hearing good things from New York.